Lucas is the guy who repeatedly says this. I don't know why either. I don't. I really don't. But uh, let's find out. Joining us live now from Waboom headquarters, newly rejected bachelor Lucas Yancey. Hello, Lucas. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Better than ever, my friend. Doing that, great. Let me ask you, how did you wind up on the Bachelorette in the first place? Uh, well, good, good question. Thank you, Jimmy. As as always. Um, well, you know. The producers brought me in. I had a, an interview, of course, oh. and uh, the, towards the end of the interview, they kind of asked me, you know, do you have any special skills? And of course, I was like, yeah, you know, I got I got a few, you know, things in my belt. And I said I could do some juggling. Uh, and I had a, an Ace Ventura impression that they really, really loved. Really? <laughs> they loved yeah. it? They, they, uh, do a little bit of it so we can get a sense of what they saw. Okay, so Jimmy, I'm gonna need you to just say Ventura and then and then I'll get after it. All right. <laughs> Ready? Uh, you know what? Forget it. It's okay. <laughs> Did I say it like I'm asking you a question or I'm, I'm meeting you like, oh, there he is? Or like Ventura. Oh, and then I'll go. Get it. I'm not going to do it. All right. Yeah. Say Ventura. Say Ventura. Ready? OK. Ventura. <sighs> yes, Satan? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You sounded like somebody else. <laughs> is that the tank? Ready then? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you, okay. All right. <laughs> so you, wow, you wowed them with an impression from a movie that came out 25 years ago. <laughs> and what is the they origin also... of Waboom? When did you start Waboomy? Uh, I've been wabooming since the womb, and Jim. Did it, I've been did it catch on like you hoped it would? Because I know you came right out of the gate saying waboom, and I guess in hopes that it would become a, like a thing. Did it catch on in the way you were hoping? Uh, you know, I, it caught on in the way that I was hoping. But of course, there's always haters and lovers. I mean, you can you can relate to that, right, Jim? Yeah. I sure. mean, it's kind of like this. <laughs> so in tonight's episode, you said something I want to ask you about. You said this about your arch rival, Blake. I know there were some things said from, like, Blake, and I think he just doesn't like me. Why? I don't know if, if Blake has a crush on me. I mean, the other night, like, you know, he was you know, over my bed, you know, uh, peeling a banana, and he was, like, licking the banana like this. You know, and I woke up and I was like, why, why is this? Okay. Yeah. Is this real or is this a joke? No, no, that happened. Did he finish the banana? He might have. Okay. Okay, so then Rachel confronted Blake and he denied this totally. Did you really wake up in the middle of the night and see him eating a banana over you? You know, it, it either happened or it was a nightmare. Um, but, you know, Blake, following me around and, you know, just getting after me, as you see in the episodes, it's just like... So you made that just... story up, or this is just a fantasy that you're like describing? Like I said, <laughs> it was a bad dream. It was a bad dream. Okay, well, know? Blake was very upset, and, well, here's what happened after that. What up, Lucas? What's up, man? I just want to say, you, bro. You're a piece of... You're here for the wrong reasons. I got drug into your I see right through you. I know why you're here. And it kills me. Why am I here? You're here to be on TV. And why is that? Because you are a wannabe comedian. You're a washed up joke. I can't help but feel like if you weren't here, I would have had a real shot at getting to know Rachel. But because you were too busy, wow, you, 
and making a joke out of this experience. I'm going home. You win, Lucas. Waboom. Yeah. <laughs> well, <okay>. you, Lucas. <laughs> Do you think it was your fault that Blake got eliminated? Uh, I think it was Blake's fault that I got eliminated. Well, I don't That's... think Gandhi would like any of this at all. I'll tell you. What is next you know, for the Waboom guy? Tell us, what's your plan here going forward? Besides, of course, you've got to be on Bachelor in Paradise. That seems predetermined. But uh, besides that, what else? The given. Uh, no, you know, to be honest, it's uh, this whole Waboom thing. You know, this shirt, as you can see. Yeah. Maybe I'll take off the jacket. Just it's to... a great looking shirt. Yeah. Glimpse. There'd be a little bit of the gun show, you know what I mean? Jimmy, you know, you know what I'm yeah. talking about? You got, you got some guns under that, under that jacket? Yes. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, uh, I am, um, I'm selling these shirts and all the proceeds and all the profit is actually going to charity, so. Those are uh, going to fly off the shelves, I am. Don't <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you remember was up? You remember that word? What? Was up? Yeah, right. You'd be better off making t-shirts that say that, I have a feeling. Oh, thank you, Lucas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that was Lucas from The Bachelor. Thanks for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?